What's up? I am Biggs. Please make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stick around. What's up, man? Thanks for being here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, for the last few weeks, I've been writing letters to myself, um, trying to change my life, encourage myself to be a better person, and remind myself what I need to do to get myself on track. And um, I've decided to read these letters out loud in video, partially so I could just pull the, my playlist up and play it when I'm driving around town as a constant reminder. Also, so I can listen to the audio if I'm taking a shower. Um, I want to. I'm just just so I can talk to myself and remind myself what steps I need to be taking to improve my life every day. So I decided to share them. I hope they inspire you and uh, hope it touches you in some way, shape, or form. And uh, if you like it, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and share this video. Give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down. If you love it or hate it, leave some comments in the comments below the video. Let me know what you think about it. And if there's a topic that you think would make a good letter, uh, go ahead and let me know, and uh, I'll do my best. So, this letter is called, Don't Allow Someone to Love You Only When It's Convenient for Them. Bro, it happens all the time. People fall in and out of love. It's a thing. You, my dude, you're one of the people that loves harder than most. You're one of those people that when you decide to give in and commit yourself in a relationship, you do it 110%. While it isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's also very dangerous. I'm going to explain why. I've watched you hurt over the past few months. I've watched you wallow away in misery. I've watched you fall down the deepest, darkest depressions you've ever experienced. I'm glad you're working your way out of it, but you have to be careful. You cannot allow someone to love you only when it's convenient for them. Letting others only love you when it suits their needs or fills a void, it isn't easy to understand or recognize. When someone promises they want to be better so you both have a stronger bond, those are just words. Actions are what counts. You're used to broken promises from every relationship you've ever been in. So why expect the next one, or any of them for that matter, to be any different? You can appreciate when it's real, but let's be honest for a minute. You don't know the difference between real and really fake. People in today's world have become experts at telling you what they want you to hear. But very rarely will you find a soul that's as transparent as yours. Keep your guard up. Keep your guard up at all times. When you end up in a relationship that seems like it's perfect, when everyone around you tells you that you two are the power couple, when her kids look at you in the face and tell you that you're the best thing that happened to their mother, it could all very well be true. For that moment in time, perfection was probably the right word for it. Let's be honest with ourselves though, big guy. Perfection has its limits. Maybe for a minute she really wanted to be the person she promised that she would be. Maybe for the moment in time that the world thought you two were perfect, you really were. But people change. Old habits are hard to break. You can't convince someone to deal with the skeletons in a closet if they're really not ready to. You can't convince someone that they have problems that are bigger than themselves. All you can do is be the man that you know you are Hope for the best, but if the best doesn't come, you need to learn how to shut it down and move on. You can't allow someone to only love you when it fits their needs at that moment in life, then treat you like trash when it doesn't. That's not love. That's convenience. Stop letting people love you only when it's convenient for them. When it feels good to them, they will love you. And that love that they have is probably as sincere as it can be for them. The downside is they may not truly know what love means because they just have never been loved unconditionally. When someone has shown a track record of running away when life gets tough, they're not the type that's going to stand with you when your life gets tough together either. You're either going to have to figure out how to fix it yourself or bow down and cater to them. I gotta ask you dude, is that the type of relationship you really want to be in for the rest of your life? If they're continually breaking promises, if they're always saying one thing but doing another, when they're promising to be there for you, but time and time again, their own selfish desires take them to a different place, do you really think they love you the way you deserve to be loved? I get it, you've fallen in love and you want to compromise. I know how you are. I know how you think better than anyone else. 
I'm telling you, bro, when she decided to go out drinking with her friends, when you made it clear you needed her the most, she was telling you just how insignificant you were to her at that time. You should have listened. You wouldn't be in the mess you are in today. Don't be a tool they use to try and fix their broken soul. Don't be a toy they play with when they're bored but sits in the box when they've got other things they would rather be doing. We've all seen Toy Story, right? Nobody wants to be at the bottom of the toy box. Climb out. Set yourself free. Do what's best for you. She's been doing what she thought was best for her and only her for a long time. You know who's really suffering as a result of it. You don't have to be one of those people. You don't have to be a victim because you believe the hype. You can set yourself free too. And you must. Don't destroy yourself by trying to hang on to an almost relationship. One where your heart is set on someone full time but theirs is only set on you part time. Don't let them consume your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit. Don't let thoughts of them keep you up at night, tossing and turning when they're out doing things you know they shouldn't be doing. It's their life. It's their choices that are leading them down those paths. And she made it clear, you don't have the wheel. You did, but then she missed her old self and her selfish desires are stronger to her than your love is. You know you loved and still loved her harder than you have ever loved anyone. And I get that. I see it. I know how awesome life was for both of you. I know how excited her kids were to have a man around that cared about them. It really does suck that her selfish wants and desires are more important to her than anyone else is. But those lives are not yours. You have to stop dwelling on things you cannot change and you know this. Don't let yourself fall so hard for someone who never planned to be there to catch you. Don't let yourself be there for someone only in their times of need. She doesn't want you 100, then she doesn't need you 50, 25, she doesn't need you 10. When she only hits you up to help her put oil in her car, it's okay to say no. I know you want to help her whenever and wherever she asks, but let's be real. The past few times y'all have done anything together. Did you do it together? Did you carry the responsibility? You know what I'm talking about. Did she pitch in and do her part or was it all on you? Don't allow yourself to be convenient for somebody because you don't deserve someone who only wants you around when they're lonely. You deserve someone that cherishes every moment with you. You can like and care about someone, her, her family, her entire being with your whole heart and soul. But if they only want you when it's convenient for themselves, they are not worth your time. You need someone who's going to be there by your side through all the unglamorous, boring, tough, complicated moments in life because there will never be any highs without the lows. You need someone who's going to be there when you're having a bad day, when you're sad because of what's going on in life, when you're struggling with anxiety, when situations seem to be making life tough for you at any given moment, who is going to be there for you and comforts you and holds you when you need to be held and makes you feel like it will be okay? You need someone who's going to be there for you when you want to go on a midnight adventure and laugh so hard your tummy hurts. Not just when the relationship is good or great, but all the time. Someone who gets you and someone who laughs with you. You need someone who is going to be there through the ups and the downs of your life because anything less than that is not someone you should waste any more of your time on. You are more than just convenient, Paul. You are more than a half-hearted love from some woman who can't prioritize you. You are not an option. You are not an alternative. You are not convenient and you are not a placeholder. Do not allow someone to love you only when it's convenient for them. Paul, you are a wonderful, wholehearted, full of life man and you deserve someone who is going to appreciate this about you on top of everything else you have to offer. Don't dwell on the fact that she stopped seeing it. Don't beat yourself up because her kids see it more than she does. Be happy that you gave everything you could for someone and close this chapter. You are not too much or too little. You do not love too hard or feel too much. You do not need to change a single thing about yourself to make someone more attracted to you because you are perfect exactly the way you are. Your thoughts and emotions matter. They are relevant and anyone who makes you feel like your feelings don't matter Anyone who tries to convince you that your feelings are wrong is someone who doesn't deserve any more of your time. You can care about someone so much, 
But if they keep you on the back burner and only come around when it's convenient for them, it's time to let go and move on because holding on to them is holding you back from living the life you were meant to live. You weren't built to dwell in other people's demons and skeletons in their closets. You were built to be something magnificent. You weren't created to be a servant to someone who doesn't respect and love you. You were created to be adored and love the genuine people around you. Stop wasting time with people who are just faking the funk. Buddy, please stop focusing on people who don't make you a priority. Instead, focus on people that do. Don't dwell on what you can't change, but relish in the golden people and the golden opportunities you have in your life. No more losing sleep over people that don't care. Let the haters hate. You have more important things to do. Like always, I love you, Paul. You will always be a man among men to me. You will always be someone who I look up to and hold in the highest regard. I'm glad I'm writing these letters to you as a reminder of who you are and who you don't need to be. Now get out there and change the world around you. Spread some love, ignore the hate, and if people want to destroy themselves, let them. They know exactly what they're doing, so if they want to ignore people that love them and act like they're 21 when they're in the mid-30s, <laughs> that's their choice. They have the freedom to do that. You have the freedom to just not give a f You know. I love you, my dude. Biggs. Now, if you're still here, it means you watch the whole thing, or maybe you just fast-forwarded it. Either way, you're still here, and I appreciate that. Thank you for letting me share some of my heart and my thoughts with you. I hope it inspires you to think a little bit differently and maybe look deep inside your own soul and figure out what can I change about me? What can I do to make myself a better person? What can I do to make myself a better lover for my partner? What can I do to make myself a better friend of the people that I call friend? Um, either way, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you love it or hate it, the feedback. Leave a comment below on what you thought about this letter and maybe share it with a friend. Maybe it hit something in you and it tugs on your heartstrings a little bit so share it with somebody whatever you do man make the most out of every single day because today is the only today you get tomorrow's never promised i'm biggs and i'll see you later